How are we doing? How are we doing? Good. 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 Nick, when I talked to you over the summer, you said one thing that was really important to you was getting the values of the team kind of in with the freshmen. Ethan gets his first goal today. What have you seen from him from the first day he came into now? Just a hardworking kid. Um, happy it paid off for him tonight. You know, he, that's good coachability, like on that power play. That, he's supposed to just stay in that lane and drive, and he listened and got rewarded for it. Nick, the second period, I thought you guys really got in on the four check and, and had the puck a lot. Um, and about 10 or 11 minutes into the period, it kind of changed. You guys seemingly weren't as aggressive on the four check, and they began to came on. What kind of changed in there? Yeah, we talked about that right after the period. I think, uh, you know, getting a lead like that, I think we kind of just sat back. And that might just be, you know, a little young first game. Um, and, you know, it doesn't matter who you're playing, it's not easy to close teams out. You know, we saw that against Brown last year. We couldn't finish them off with a one goal lead. And we had a two goal lead tonight. I think we just started backing off. And they have skilled D, skilled, they're skilled through the neutral zone. They just kind of ate us up. Um, so. That's definitely one thing we got to fix for tomorrow is if we get up on a lead, just step on their throats and keep, you know, moving forward. Dude, that someone forget who predicted you were going to get two goals. <laughs> that was you. That was you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the breakaway, you went to your uh, your backhand. Uh, next time, would you, would you maybe try to stay in your forehand and go top shelf? or? I don't know. I mean, Noons put up that video. <laughs> they might have gave away my move. <laughs> Goalie could have saw that. Put the puck in the air and swing it. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just my move. I don't think I'm going to switch it up. I hope no other goalie sees this. But uh, hopefully, it works next time. Or if not, maybe I'll start. I'll start shooting or do something else. What kind of impact do you think Ethan's goal had on the rest of the freshmen? Uh, I think it's definitely sends a good message. I, you know, I said I, I feel a freshman's going to score tonight, and uh, you know, he was right. He scored first uh, first period like that. And I think it just gives him confidence and gives the rest of them confidence. You know, it's not easy your first game, big crowd like that. I'm sure people's families are here. You know, there's a lot of distractions. Um, like I remember my freshman year, I was so nervous. Like I'm sure they're feeling the same thing. And once they kind of get more games under their belt, they learn our systems. It's just more reactiveness and playing hockey, not thinking, you know, being in the right spot. And I think as they move forward, they're just going to get better and better. Nick, this was your first game as captain and at home. You know, did this game kind of feel any different from any game you played in the past? Uh, I mean, you know, want to win every game. I think uh, being a senior now and wearing the C, like, I kind of take things more personally. Like, want to win more. You know, it's my last chance to kind of win trophies with this program, and every game matters, as we learned last year. Our Cleary Cup went down in the last game, so you know, and, and pairwise is so big out of conference like tonight, so. Just kind of being more cognizant of that and, uh, you know, not taking anything for granted. Ethan kind of talked about the difference between juniors and now Division One hockey. What kind of support have you given him and the rest of the freshmen in terms of making that transition from juniors to Division One? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy. And um, as you'll probably see throughout the season, some freshmen take off right away and they're studs and others it kind of takes time. Um, just thinking back to my freshman year, like Alex Whalen and I, we kind of took a little bit longer to adapt, but then we had Carlos and Brogan who were studs right away. And um, I think you could, maybe we'll have that a bit this year, um, but there's definitely talent in that freshman class. And I think you give them a little time, they get a little experience. They're going to be studs for sure. Two more for Nick. Play the same team tomorrow, 20 hours from now. What do you think the adjustments you guys need to make to, to make sure that you guys don't you know, let them get back into the game, step on their throw, you said. Mm -hmm. Like one of the things we said was we thought we played kind of 45 to 50 minutes, and at this level you got to play a full 60. Um, that's one of the things we always talk about. And uh, I think for tomorrow, like our, the work we've done in the summer and in preseason, I think we're in really good shape right now. And you kind of could see that at the end of the, the third period there, and hopefully tomorrow where we can use that to our advantage and, uh, you know, step on their throats, like I said. Keith is, is, is the, I think, more than anyone, is the guy that really needs to make that forward jump this year. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so important to this team. How important for him to get off to a good start? Didn't have a lot of shots tonight, but there were a lot of really good scoring opportunities, and he played very well. Yeah, I mean, I think the beginning of the season for him is, you know, really big. Um, he put in good work this off season. He knew he was going to be the guy all summer, um, and I think that confidence will definitely help him for sure. 
and you know we just we try to play great D in front of him and give him a shot to see every every um, chance and you know he played great tonight uh, made some big saves down the stretch and uh, hopefully he can keep that going. Thanks, Thanks everyone.